Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you all. Whatever time of the day you find yourself tuning in, uh, listening to this particular message, watching this video, good day to you. Uh, my name is Jeremy Wright, and I'm signing on today, which is Sunday, uh, December the 20th, 2020, um, in which I actually wanted and um, needed to sign on on uh, three days ago, which was the 17th. However, um, I did not do so. Um, after I actually uh, realized my nephew actually gave me a call um on the 17th and at that moment <laughs> when he called um I was in the middle of um of a phone call and he called me and although I knew what that day meant at the time um being on the phone with someone else I didn't uh realize um what it was that he was calling about until afterwards um, but nevertheless, on the 17th, uh, in fact, uh, this past uh, 17th of December, made nine years whereby me and my family, my family and I lost my older sister, Monica, um, who had uh, sickle cell anemia. And uh, this year being nine years, 2020 being nine years, and it seemed like a lifetime ago to myself because um, she and I has always had a, a very close and intimate relationship. Uh, for those of you who may not know, uh, my older sister Monica and I both uh, were born with sickle cell anemia. And because we were born with sickle cell anemia, we were able to uh, relate to one another a little more so than our other siblings. Nevertheless, that does not go to say that uh, my other siblings and I and Monica were not close because we were all close. It was four of us, two girls and two boys, and we were all close and we are all close. Um, nevertheless, Monica and I um, share a, a very deep bond with one another and that particular bond um, it, it actually for myself never ends, but I just wanted to share with you today, which is the 20th of December, um, as I, I created a video, uh, maybe two weeks ago now, um, on the third, whereby I lost, uh, my grandmother, um, this same month, um, in 2005. And this year was 15 years whereby uh, we lost our grandparent, um, Mother Nellie Reed. And uh, lo and behold, um, that's the same month, two weeks after we lost my grandmother, we lost my sister in the year 2011. And with that being said, um, those two individuals, along with my grandfather, were um, instrumental uh in my growth, in my process, in my life. And um, with that being said, um, I just needed to take time to share with you how um, God is so uh, gracious and how God is so, so faithful um, and what it is that uh, God does for us, in us, and through us. Um, as, I, as I sit back, reflect, um, as we um, actually approach uh, the end of this year and um, approach a new year, what God has allowed me to come to know, learn, and understand is that um, there are different people that God places in our lives to teach us different lessons. There are different people that God places in our lives to teach us different lessons. And, you know, um, fortunately, um, some of those people actually come and some of those people actually stay. However, um, fortunately as well, some of those people actually come and some of them people actually go. Nevertheless, you know, God is so gracious and so faithful and teaching us different life lessons. Um, as I stated, um, December the 17th, 2011, I personally lost my oldest sister, Monica, who is actually uh, not only a sister for myself, but actually uh, a best friend. You know, Monica was indeed my best friend. This was a sister. This was a friend that I could go to and actually 
um, become naked and vulnerable before and I can share anything with her and uh, she not one judge me or she not one, uh, you know, hold it against me. And that type of friend, if you ever have or if you ever find one, that's a friend that you definitely must um, continue to thank God for because um, you need friends in your lives whereby you can actually go to and um, actually be vulnerable to. And those individuals do not hold a certain thing against you. And Monica was that individual for myself. Um, nevertheless, this being a uh, nine years whereby uh, she has actually um, gone and passed away. Yet and still, she's definitely uh, I'm still with us. And she's definitely with myself, I would say. Um, she hasn't uh, left my side. Um, I believe that God actually allowed her to be an angel in my life. And uh, with that being said, um, upon reflection um, in this year, 2020, what I come to know and what I come to learn is that uh, Jeremy actually, um, actually was holding on to a whole lot of hurt, a whole lot of grief, a whole lot of pain and even had uh, wounds that were still open. And um, being that I was holding on to these things and I still had wounds in my own lives, in my own life that didn't heal yet, um, you know, God definitely knows what you need when you need it. And this particular year, you know, has been a, a phenomenal year. It's been a great year. And God actually allowed me uh, to um, meet someone and come across someone who would actually uh, impart the wisdom and the language that I personally needed in order to move forward into the future. And what I'm saying and what I'm actually uh, trying to uh, relate to you is the simple fact that, you know, uh, it wasn't until this year that I actually learned that the death of my sister was something that I actually was, um, you know, still hurt by and something that I actually still um, didn't quite fully heal from. Nevertheless, um, in the past three months, in the past, well, let's just say the past year, um, this particular year in general, um, God actually allowed me uh, to see, to recognize, and to identify the areas where I was still hurt and I did not yet heal from whereby my sister would actually uh, taken off of this earth and, you know, transition to her heavenly home. Yet and still, I'm so grateful tonight because, and I want to share with you that, you know, um, grief is real. And um, I actually had someone to let me know and actually tell me that, you know, basically I shouldn't, um, I should basically forget about it. I should just let it go. And this is coming from someone who actually never lost anyone in their life that they were actually close to. So I can, I can actually offer a grace to that individual because I know that individual didn't lose anyone close to them, whereby I'm so grateful to God that they haven't experienced that type of pain. Um, yet and still, um, this individual actually um, encouraging me to basically forget about it and don't think about it and basically to move on. And that's true. If you ever lost a loved one or anyone close to you, um, there comes a time in your life where you do have to move on. And uh, although this individual was right, uh, the, the way that it was stated and the way that it was brought across was not right. Um, and I encourage you that it's okay to move forward, but um, you pray to God, ask God what it is that you need to learn and what it is that you need to take from that situation in order to move forward and actually in order to help someone else along the way. Therefore, I'm so grateful tonight, um, again, that God has actually allowed me to come to this particular day, five days before Christmas, um, to actually um, identify some areas in my life whereby I have been hurt, whereby I've been, uh, you know, carrying pain, scars, and even had open wounds whereby I did not even realize and I did not even identify until God sent 
uh, individual in my life to actually uh, help me to identify those areas and actually help me to um, um, ask God uh, for the wisdom um, to to actually extract from those experience experiences that I may move forward into the future. And as I actually um, created this channel, um, it said um, nine over nine years, and I didn't realize I was on YouTube over nine years. However, uh, this particular uh, year has been the first year I actually created a video. So uh, in me creating these videos, and one video that was created, uh, Microscope versus Telescope, um, we actually was talking about how, you know, we need to ask God for the ability uh, to see not just the here and now, but to see in the future. We need to ask God not just the ability to see and discern the here and now, but actually to have the ability to see into the future. For this year is definitely 2020, and 2020, as we know, deals with vision. 2020 indeed deal indeed de deals with uh, sight. Therefore, it's uh, very uh, important that we have. Um, the proper sight, the proper vision, um, in order to move forward into the future, we need to ask God to help us to continue um, to show us what we need to sh um, see and reveal unto us what we need to know and understand. And I just pray that um, that is um, something that you personally can actually um, ask God for for yourself and that you will be able, like myself, to be set free free and actually be healed in areas that you never thought was possible. Be